محمد <تصفيق> وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين أما بعد The day of Ashura is upon us The day of great musiba A day where the heart of every believer breaks a day where all of the malakut of the alam is in a state of mourning for Abi Abdullah al Hussein. The maqam of the aza of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam cannot be comprehended by normal minds. The maqam of those that come to mourn. Imam al Hussein is something beyond comprehension. In the ayah of the Holy Quran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al Zumar, He says, Wasik al Ladina kafaru ila jahannami zumara, says that on that day the kuffar will be dragged towards Jahannam. They will be pushed towards Jahannam. But then later on, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ رَبُّهُمْ إِلَىٰ جَنَّةِ زُمَرَةِ says, and also the mu'mineen, the believers, will be dragged towards Jannah. Ayatollah Hafiz Bashir Najafi, Hafiz Allah, he says that for many years this ayah confused me. I understand Jahannam not wanting to go and the people having to be pushed into Jahannam and they resisting. But why Jannah? Why are the believers so reluctant that they have to be pushed into Jannah? It says, for years I struggled with this until I came across a riwayah that says on the day of judgment, Abi Abdullah al Hussein will come in front of all of those who attended his majlis e aza, all of those that came to mourn him, all of those that worked in any way to establish his majlis, and the people will flock around him. And all of them will surround him. And they will be, be told, enter into Jannah. But they will say, no, let us stay with Abi Abdullah. All our lives we cried for him. All our lives we desired him. And so they will have to be dragged away from Imam al Hussein, So that they can enter into Jannah. And they will be told, Abi Abdullah himself will come into Jannah. But he says, then I understood what it meant by this ayah that individuals will have to be dragged and pushed into Jannah. The maqam of those that take place, take part in the azar of Imam al Hussein <coughs> is huge. Those tears that fall from your eyes for Imam al Hussein is one of the greatest barakah that Allah can bestow upon you in your life. There are three stages to this pain for Imam al Hussein. A stage, the first stage, and this also applies to any of you that go to Ziyara. The first stage, how do I know that the Imam is replying to my salam? Because they say, don't enter into the haram 
into the area of the dharih until the imam has accepted your salam so the first stage is that at the base level for even the most hardest of hearts that when they send salam you feel a change in your hal in your state in your emotional state a sorrow comes upon your heart this is the sign of the reply of the salam of the imam the second stage of those that are slightly higher is that tears fall from their eyes when they send salam upon the imam every time tears whether you are in karbala or whether you are sitting here today every time you say assalamu alayka ya aba abdullah if tears come into your eyes if your heart changes know that the imam is replying to your salam and then the final stage is the one of buka the one who wails loudly for imam al hussein because the one who does buka understanding the right of imam al hussein wajibat lahu al jannah jannah becomes wajib upon that person such is the maqam of abi abdullah that your single cry for him is considered your entry into Jannah. The sixth Imam has a beautiful tradition where he says, Nafas al Mahmoom li dhulmina tasbih. Says, This ah that you let out when listening to our, the words of the, the story of our oppression, says, This is counted as tasbih by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your being here is ibadah I said last night this day is no ordinary day this day cannot be any ordinary day for you it's the day of great huzn of great sadness it is a day where the believers cannot contain themselves with the grief the hujjah of Allah cannot contain himself with the grief that he feels on this day. I want to narrate to you parts of it I've mentioned in my lectures, but I want to narrate the whole narration of the eighth Imam to Rayyan ibn Shabib, his companion. When Rayyan ibn Shabib comes to visit the eighth Imam one day, sees the Imam in a state of grief. He says, Yabla Rasulillah, what is this state that I find you in? The Imam says, Rayyan ibn Shabib, do you not know? This is the day of Ashura. Because up until this time, there was so much oppression that many of the people actually didn't understand the importance of the day of Ashura, and much of it was forgotten. And so you find from the 8th Imam, the 7th Imam, 8th Imam, there is this push for the day of Ashura. It says Rayyan ibn Shabib, says this, not the day of Ashura, sorry, it is the first of Muharram today. This is the day that Zakaria alayhi salam was fasted and was granted a son. That was Yahya. And then the Imam tells him of the story of Yahya alayhi salam that Yahya would come and he would see Maryam alayhi salam she would be receiving food from Jannah and Yahya her uncle would say Ya Allah this niece of mine she has such a maqam that you send food for her from Jannah Ya Allah I just want one thing and that is that you grant me a son. According to the narrations, say that Jibra'il alayhi salam came down and said to him, Yahya, use the names that Adam used in order to seek forgiveness from Allah. And so he was taught the names of the Panjtan, the Holy Prophet. Amir al Mu'mineen, Sayyidah Zahra, Imam al Hassan, Imam al Hussein. He began reciting these names. 
Then he called out again to Allah, Ilahi, tell me something. Every time I say the name of Muhammad, I become happy. I say the name of Ali, I become happy. I say the name of Fatima, my heart becomes happy. I say the name of Hassan, and my heart becomes happy. But Ya Allah, when I say this name of Hussein, there is such a sorrow that enters my heart. Ya Allah, who is this Hussein? Jibra'il comes down, reveals to him, Kaf ha ya ain sad, the start of Surah Al Maryam. Says Jibra'il, Kaf is Karbala, Ya is Yazid, Ha is Halaqat, Ain is Atash, Sad is Sabr. He's told the whole story of Karbala. Yahya alayhi salam doesn't eat for three days, doesn't come out of the mihrab of ibadat for three days, crying and weeping. And then he raises his hands and prays to his Lord quietly. My Lord, give me a son like Hussein that is so dear to me, as dear as he will be to the final prophet. And let me feel the pain that the holy prophet will feel upon the killing of Hussein. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Zakaria, we have granted you a son like Yahya. And Hazrat Yahya's death is exactly like that of Sayyidu Shuhada in that a despot ruler severs his head. His head is presented to the ruler upon a, a, a tray. The head of Yahya alayhi salam spoke. Thus earth mourned for Yahya alayhi salam. So Imam says to Rayyan ibn Shabib, says, Yabla Shabib, this is the first of Muharram. Then he says, Yabla Shabib, in kunta baqiyan li shay'i, فَبْكِلِ الْحُسَيْنِ فَإِنَّهُ ضُبِهَا كَمَا يُذْبَهُ الْكَبْشِ Says, O oh son of Shabib, if you want to cry over anything in your life, فَبْكِلِ الْحُسَيْنِ Then cry over Hussein alayhi salam, فَإِنَّهُ ضُبِهَا كَمَا يُذْبَهُ الْكَبْشِ For he was slaughtered in the way that sheep are slaughtered. And with him 18 members of his household, the likes of whom this world has never seen. And for him the seven heavens and the earth wept over his killing. Then he says to him, Yabla Shabib, In bakayta ali al-Husayn, hatta tasira dumu'aka ala khaddaik, غَفَرَ اللَّهُ لَكَ كُلَّ ذَمٍ أَذْنَبْتَ صَغِيرًا كَانَ أَوْ كَبِيرًا قَلِيلًا كَانَ أَوْ كَثِيرًا He says, O oh son of Shabib, if you cry, if you do buka, wail over Abi Abdullah, such that the tears of your eyes reach your cheeks, Allah will forgive every single one of your sins, may, even if they are lots, or even the major ones and the minor ones, if there are many, if there are few, Allah will forgive all of them. Says Yabna Shabib, in Sarraka and Talqa Allah Azza wa Jal, Wala Dhamba Alaik, says O oh son of Shabib, if you wish to meet Allah on the day of judgment, such that you have no sin left on your Nama Ya'mal, Fazul al Hussein, then go and do the ziyarat of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. Manzar al Hussein. The one who does the ziyarat of Imam al Hussein, it is as if he has done the ziyarat of Allah upon the arsh. Then he says to him, Ibn Shabib, in Sarraka and Teskunu Wurf al Mabniyati fil Jannah ma'an Nabi wa Ali. O son of Shabib, if you want a place in Jannah, next to the Prophet and his Al. فَلَعَنْ قَتَلَتَ الْحُسَيْنِ Then send la'na upon those that killed Abi Abdullah. Allah will grant you a house in Jannah next to the Prophet. يَبْنَ Shabib, إِنْ سَرَّكَ أَنْ يَكُونَ لَكَ مِنَ الثَّوَابِ مِثْلُ لِمَنِ اسْتُشْحِدَ مَعَ الْحُسَيْنِ Says, O oh son of Shabib, if you want to receive the reward 
the same, the equivalent of an individual who was killed alongside Imam al Hussein. فَقُلْ مَتَى مَا ذَكَرْتَ Every time you hear about Imam al Hussein, say, يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ مَعَكُمْ مَعَهُمْ فَأَفُوزَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا says, every time you hear the name of Hussein alayhi salam and his ashab, say, oh, how I wish I was there with you on the day of Ashura. And Allah will give you the reward of the one who died alongside Abi Abdullah. says, Yabna al-Shabib, in sarraka an takunu ma'ana fi darajat al-ula min al-jinan, O son of Shabib, so if you want to be at the highest realms of heaven with us, then the Imam gives him three advices. فَحْزُنْ لِحُزْنِنَا وَفْرَحْ لِفَرْحِنَا وَعَلَيْكَ بِوِلَايَتِنَا Says then be sad when we are sad. Be happy when we are happy. وَعَلَيْكَ بِوِلَايَتِنَا And make sure that you follow our wilaya. Never compromise on our wilaya. فَلَوْ أَنَّ رَجُلًا أَحَبَّ حَجَرًا لَحَشَرَهُ اللَّهِ مَعَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ For if a man even was to love a stone, Allah will raise him with that stone on يوم القيامة. So if your heart is filled with the love of Imam al Hussein, then on Yawm al Qiyamah Allah will raise you with Abi Abdullah. Be sad when they are sad, happy when they are happy. And there is no sadder day than this, the day of Ashura. For the believers, this day, as I said at the start, this is no ordinary day. No eye should remain dry on this day. And if it does remain dry, ask Allah for istighfar, ask Allah for forgiveness. Do istighfar to Allah. Ya Allah, what sin did I commit that you took away the barakah of tears for Imam al Hussein from me? It is a huge, huge problem if you can't cry for Imam al Hussein. It's a big problem. Ask Allah for forgiveness if you are unable to cry. If you are unable to shed even one tear. Ask him for forgiveness. That he breaks your heart, polishes it so that you can shed a tear for Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us all the ability to be amongst the true azadar of Imam al Hussein and He grants us all the ziyara of Abi Abdullah al Hussein this year and every year through the barakah of the Holy Quran. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Inna a'atayna kal kawthar. Fasalli li rabbika wanhar. Inna shani'ika huwa al abtar. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة والسلام على نبينا وسيدنا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وصل على أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المهجلين علي بن أبي طالب وصلي على صديقة الطاهرة الممتهنة الصابرة فاطمة بنت محمد سيدة النساء العالمين اللهم صل على وصل على سبتي الرحمة الإمام الهدى الحسن والحسين سيدة شباب أهل الجنة اللهم صل على 
وصلي على ائمة المسلمين علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والقائم الحجة المهدي اللهم صل على محمد وعلي اللهم عجل فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من عوانه وانصاره والمستشهدين تحت لوائه The situation around the world for the followers of Ahl al-Bayt becomes more and more difficult. Especially when it comes to the Aza of Imam al Hussein. There are Yazids in every time and they have always been the supporters of Abi Abdullah in every time. Yesterday you would have seen the videos that came out of the bomb blast in Sayyidah Zainab. <coughs> a car bomb put inside a taxi that was driven there. Amongst the dead was a mother of three children who was giving out niyaz in the name of Imam al Hussein to the Azadar. All three of her children were injured. Many, many others were injured as well. You would have seen the scenes from Kabul where the Taliban broke up the Julus, the Matam of Abi Abdullah. They drove cars into the Azadar. They chased them with guns. They beat them with sticks. But this has been our life for centuries. We have always stood firm to this path and we will always give our blood in this path. If it was the time of Bani al-Abbas where they said if you want to go and do the ziyarat of Hussein you must give a limb. People were willing to give a limb. No matter how much they choose to try and suppress us they try and blow out this light of Aza. It will never be extinguished. Long after I am gone, long after you are gone, this Aza will always remain. For this Aza has the dua of Zahra alayhi salam. When the child, the baby Imam al Hussein was brought to the Holy Prophet, the Holy Prophet began crying. As the Zahra said, Father, is there something wrong with my son? And the Holy Prophet said, No, Zahra, but Jibra'il has come and told me that this son of yours will be killed in the most brutal of ways. And Zahra alayhi salam begins to weep and cry. Says, Father, will there be no one that will come and help my son Hussein? The Holy Prophet says, On that day, no. But Zahra, Allah will create a nation who will stand and their young ones will mourn his young ones. Their elders will mourn his elders. Their women will mourn their women. A nation will rise that will raise the name of your son Hussein and will shed tears for him. Zahra alayhi salam, she's a mother. She says, Ya Rasulullah, then I swear I will not enter into Jannah until I have taken all of those that wept for my son Hussein into Jannah as well. And so the narration says on Yawm al Qiyamah, when she, Salam Allah alayha, enters into the plains of Mahshar and she will be riding upon the camel of Rahmah, 70,000 angels of the Muqarrabeen on her right, 70,000 angels of the Muqarrabeen on her left, 70,000 in front of us, in front of her, the caller will call out to lower your heads for the daughter of uh, Rasulullah Zahra enters into the plains of Mahshar. She will enter into the plains of Mahshar. They will say to her, Zahra, enter into Jannah. She will take a step towards Jannah, but then she will stop. 
Allah will say to her, Zahra, why don't you enter? She says, Ya Allah, Uridu an yu'rafa qadri fi hadha al-yawm. I want this nation, these people, this whole of existence to understand my true maqam on this day. At that point, tongues of fire will come from hell and grab all of those that oppress Zahra and her children and drag them into hell. Then she, Salamullah alayha, will stop again. Says Zahra, what is it now? Says, Ya Allah, I will not enter into Jannah until all of those that wept over Abi Abdullah, over my son, enter into Jannah. But not just there. All of them will come forward. And then she will be like, and anyone that has ever given water to one of my azadar, anyone that has ever clothed one of my azadar, anyone that has ever fed one of my azadar, Ya Allah, I want to do shifa for all of them. Let them all enter into Jannah. Allah will say to her, Zahra, today is your day, do as you please. There will be individuals who will be chained being taken to hell. But the narration says, كَتَبَ بَيْنَ عَيْنَيْهِمْ هَذَا مُحِبُّ فَاطِمَةً But written between their eyes will be, this is a lover of Fatima. She will say, Ya Allah, these are my lovers. Where are they being taken? Says Zahra, today is your day. Do as you please. Imam al-Baqir says that my mother Zahra will pass over the plains of Mahshar, picking up people and doing shifa'a for them, like a bird flies over the earth, picking seeds off the ground. Do not consider your attendance here to be just culture. Do not consider your attendance here to be just something that we do as a tradition. Well, you sit in a place where the ma'soom mala'ika come. You have come here today because the hujjah of Allah has allowed you to come here today. You have come here today because you are the result of the dua of Zahra alayhi salam. Understand your maqam. Understand your position in the eyes of Allah. When the hujjah of Allah Zahra, you know, the 11th Imam says, we are all hujjah upon all of makhluq, but our mother Zahra is hujjah upon us. She is a hujjah upon us. When the hujjah of Allah has done dua for you, do not sell yourself short. On this day, do not hold yourself back from the aza of Imam al Hussein. Cry for him. Beat your chest for him. Wail for him. For I swear to you that Zahra alayha salam herself will come and do your shifa. Wail, cry, do matam. For the aza of Imam al Hussein has no bounds. The sha'air of Abi Abdullah have no bounds. Don't be shy on this day. Don't be embarrassed on this day. For the hujjah of Allah Himself is in a state of matam and aza on this day. And you, as His Shia, should also be in that state. No eye should be left dry. No chest should be left unbeat. And this is the haq of this day. That you gather, whatever small you can do. I'm not saying you spend hours doing azar. Whatever. But don't miss those moments. Those opportunities, those chances to cry. And if you can't cry, then do tabaki. Tabaki is pretend to cry. Make a face like you're crying. Lower your head. You will still be given the reward of one that does buka, that wails over Imam al Hussein because you accepted the importance of it. One mas'ala I've been asked to bring up 
and that is in regards to Salatul Jum'ah. There may be some people that are unaware, but according to Sayyid Sistani, those who pray Salatul Jum'ah with the niyyah of wajib, your dhuhr becomes sakit. You don't need to recite Salatul Zuhr. And you will only recite Salatul Asr. So those that recite the Jum'ah with the niyyah wajib qurbatan ilallah, their zuhr is sakit, and they will just recite Asr after the Salatul Jum'ah, meaning they don't, sakit meaning they don't need to recite the Salatul Zuhr, inshaAllah. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts our azar on this day and forgives all of our sins, inshaAllah. And he joins us amongst the shuhada of Karbala, inshaAllah. Through the barakah of the Holy Quran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Qul Hu Allahu Ahad. الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن الله كفوا أحد الله